Sergeant Mars made his way onto the surface of Earth, making his way into the heart of Russia. Upon arrival, Sergeant Mars was greeted by Vak and his comrades, who looked a tad bit angry. But Sergeant Mars brushed us off, as they were probably on high alert because of the war. Sergeant Mars, Captain Tequila informed me that you'd be coming. Welcome to the motherland. I hope our progress is being noted, drawing out those stupid clones. Yes, Captain Takeda speaks very highly of you and your people. Sergeant Mars knew he was lying to them, as he knew the ultimate goal was using them to lure out every clone commander before the Empire took over without supplying them the technology they desired. After the formalities, the room became tense as Vax shifted the conversation into a serious tone. You know, I admire the Empire. They look out for their people, trusting and always there when you don't want them. Sergeant Mars was listening, but became quite uneasy about the subject matter. Did you really think that because of your advanced technology that our scientists wouldn't be able to detect a wire that was implanted on me or on your planet? That is just crazy. Just get to the point. If you want to kill me, at least give me a gun and we can handle this like men. Kill you? No, that would be too easy. You must prove yourself to the country of Russia by taking out the ranger outposts in the borderlands of the country. Sergeant Mars felt a sigh of relief. For the price of his life, he would have to kill the enemy in order to survive. He was happy about the outcome of the conversation, as he would be given weapons as well as the enemy intel that he was going to collect from both sides. Hello, gamers, what is going on? It's your boy, Word OJ, back with another video playing some Men of War Song Squad 2. Galaxy of War mod, the War Dog story, man. I took a little break from it, but we're back with a video. So we got Sergeant Mars with some Russian soldiers. He's gonna be accompanied by them on his mission by VAC. He was like, we don't trust you. So to gain trust, you're gonna do something for us in return for, you know, your safety. And, you know, Mars is all for it. He's like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I don't wanna cause any problems. I don't wanna, you know, go down in a gunfight, that was the last thing he wanted to do because he's just there to collect intel. You know, T Captain Takeda was like, you have to do all these things. And he was like, that's a lot of work. So if he has to do less to work by sh proving his loyalty, he was like, I I'll do it, no problem. So then we're coming up on these ranger like defenses or whatever, they're scattered all around. Um, usually outposts have a congested amount of soldiers so that's what i thought this area kind of was it looked like to me and they got some free roman troopers all around so they're kind of like doing patrols around this like city and outpost so it's gonna be a kind of hard battle um i'll be controlling the these boys over here sergeant mars and see if he can come out with a dub if he does go down he might be captured and then their whole plan could be discovered. So this mission holds a lot of value as far as the Empire's plan. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and do it for Jake's dog. All right, let's get into this. All right, boys, I went ahead and gave them some more troopers. I tested this out before um, playing it and I got steamrolled, bro. The video lasted three minutes. Thress. So yeah, I'm just going to say that Vac was feeling kind of generous and gave them a lot of troopers because the free roamers just absolutely steamrolled us, bro. All right, put some fire down range. They're coming really slowly. Don't like that. Um, I don't want to put anyone in these buildings or anything. Just trying to see. Yeah, let's just create this firing line of soldiers it's gonna help us out and i think one thing i didn't do well was like pushing up on these defenses that's why they were like so easy to kill us like because we were so confined to this area so i'm gonna see if i can change that yeah i don't think that was a good idea yeah my man is just running away <laughs> I'm gonna try and yield that that way. Got no one. That's great. Kobe. Alright, alright. Get down, get down, get down. 
That didn't get anyone. Wow. That is. But wait. I didn't get anyone. What a nerd. So we lost two troopers so far. Not doing so hot. Man, these buildings, man. It's like no defenses. Let's get more troopers up here. Because I see the free roamers coming. And they're coming fast. Keep firing. Fire out that way. Fire out that way. Because I don't think the people on the hill can fire you. No, this is no time to be... Ah, there's like three people shooting at you right now. Our fire output needs to be better. We have more troopers in them right now. See, now it's crossfire. Oh, man. This one's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Come on. Did I just hear a laser fire? How are they going down so quick? I don't understand. Can they go in here? Like these defenses are impossible to get on. Oh crap. That's literally behind the wall. They didn't have to move. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Looks like we left a trooper back there. Oh, a couple troopers. We're going to need you because we're getting steamrolled right now. Oh, man. All right, good. They're taking out the troopers. I think what we should do is get down and fire at those people coming up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Instead of going to them. You know, let them trickle in. Get spread out. Oh my goodness. How are we getting steamrolled like that? I'm going to see how many uh, free roamers are left. Um, I don't see any. Wait. There's some coming up right now. I'm going to get everyone spread out. Oh, excuse me. All right. Give my man's an AK-47 in the Star Wars universe. Love to see it, man. All right, now we're at a stalemate. There we go. There we go. Fire output needs to be on right now. There's no reason we should be taking losses. I seen someone just run over here. I have no idea where he's at. That's just going crazy. Which is a possibility. Right, you got shot. Your health is fine though. And you have a kill. You're doing your job. Alright. Um. This free roamer just doesn't want to move. Alright. They have like four troopers over here. Which is kind of scary because all our troopers just got evaporated. I'm going to move him up over here. Focus that way. All right, you come over here too. Focus that way. Just focus that way, soldier. Jeez. All right. Can we fire at them? No. There we go. There we go. There we go. Not even a chance. You can't even fire because you're over there. Move you this way. I didn't count four there that went down. So did they retreat? I'm trying to see. I don't know, but this defense is going to be hard because there's going to be a lot of crossfire coming out. Ah, this is tough. This is tough. Maybe I can do it with uh, Sergeant Mars because he has the most health. He should be bumped up to 500. Should be. But... That is putting it mildly, so I'm going to move him up because... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Behind the truck. Gotcha. <sighs> he dodged. How many bullets do we have? Four. One. Way to not reload, dude. All right. Should I be shot by them? All right, good, good. They got him. 
I don't know how many free roamers are left. I'm going to check. I want our boy getting captured. I just like doing like having different sides of the battle, telling a different perspective of war. I just think that's cool. So that's why well, he got shredded almost, but his health instantly regened. Oh, a little lag there. Reloading. Oh, where am I getting shot from? Someone over here? Sergeant Mars isn't happy about that. Come up, you cowards. All right, whatever. That aim control, though. I hear something over here. There you are. Oh my god. He went down. What a nerd. Alright, so if we win this, he'll just be injured. Star Wars guns have significantly more, more bullets than these regular bullets. All right, let's see if we can pull this off, man. How many soldiers we got? Russians are probably happy with them. They, they probably don't care. They probably just want to live. All right, so we have a total of five troopers. Five. I don't know if this is going to be possible because, I, I don't know, men of war would be hard. It'd be hard, though. All right. And if they fail this mission and one soldier survives, Vac is going to be very upset. So there's a lot of things weighing on this battle. <sighs> All right. I think that should have been the last free roamer. If not, I'm, I'm going to be mad. All right. I know we can lob a grenade over there. Wow. Way to go. Yeet. All right, good. We should be down. Huh? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no way. How do you not die from that, bruh? That is ridiculous. Look at this this old cannon. Very rusty. Um, no, nah, that was bull. He should have went down. I don't think Sergeant Mars has this. But let's keep going. Vac doesn't take no for an answer, just like the Empire. All right, where's that other boy at? He's back there. Maybe next time he brings snipers, because... I was about to say, bro. I was about to say. All right. If we take out this outpost... I'm going to say mission complete. All right, he's going to be healing up. Or we can still try. If we get down to one trooper, I'm, I'm calling the battle. Oh, he pre-shot. I'm going to get an angle. I want to see how many more troopers they have over here. I'm seeing some red. Where? Oh, he's behind this building. And there's someone right there. So we shouldn't be get crossfire. We killed him. All right, let's take him out. Let's see if we can do that. Come on. They take so many shots. We take literally one and we're dead. Heal up. Um, Get your bag. Check him. Everything. All right. Um, I think he's the only one left here. Can we get crossfired if we cross over here? Looks like we can. They can shoot through these windows. Hmm. And there's a lot of troopers over here. It says they're in this building, but I can't see them. Uh, hello? Hold on.
I'm not, all right, they're not free roamers, so that's fine. Let's see if we can take out this thing. Because I am not trying to die. Yeet. Put the finishing touch on them. You reload, because for some reason we never have enough bows to reload. Alright, this is going to be a two-man mission here. There's some... There's a trooper right there. I think there's another one... Somewhere? Right there. See, that's what, like, these big maps... It's hard to see, man. Really hard to see. I want to see if we can book it to this... Nah, nah. It's definitely not going to be possible. See if we can go right here, shoot this boy, unsuspectedly. All right. See, I told you they could shoot through those windows. Did he get him? That's like an impossible shot. You gotta thread the needle with that one. That's bull. That's bull. No way that just happened. Alright. Let's pull out of there. I'll be pulling out. <sighs> Gotta get our boy. This is just too difficult. He gave him no troopers on purpose. He didn't want him to uh pass the mission at all. Oh, inject morphine. What is this? Use dynamite. Get your boy. It's not even your boy. And we're getting out of here, bro. Vac is going to be very upset with Sergeant Mars. You may even kill him or give him to the enemy because he doesn't like the Empire. But look at that. The walk of shame. Boo. This is the enemy here. And then we get to our, our other boys, the clone boys and the rangers. Yeah. We took a lot of losses in the beginning. And I tried to hoof it over here. It was a bad decision on my part, but still, bro. This my like MW2, it began mad hard to like shoot people and battle with a few troopers. You need a large scale invasion type beat with the MW2 mod, because, like, one-on-ones and, like, finite spaces, these guns pack a punch, man. So that's the video. Sergeant Mars is injured, and Vac has his life in his hands. So we're going to find out what happens to Sergeant Mars and Vac in the next episode of War Dog Story. Oh, I was going to say my name, but my bad. But if you like that video, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And do it for me and Jake the dog. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.